Amazon Party Rock is a generative AI playground from AWS or Amazon that lets you experiment, learn, and build applications with generative AI. Party Rock is a new app powered by Bedrock, and Bedrock is a service that allows you to build your own LLM applications by using API calls. Party Rock allows you to build your own artificial intelligence applications in a matter of seconds. Also, you can share, share those applications with others and learn about generative AI in the process. In just a few steps, you can build an app to create the perfect playlist. We recommend what to cook based on ingredients in your pantry or organize your any conference or any event schedule, all while learning how to write text prompts to generate a desired output. And in this case, that means your application or app. Party Rock is truly a blast. It will help build intuition around generative AI techniques and capabilities, like understanding different foundation model strengths and chaining prompts together. You can also use text and image models, including Anthropics Cloud. Party Rock introduces another layer of fun by allowing you to share your apps with others. You can be a party rocker, then you can interact with other party rockers by collaborating with them. You can also remix it to edit or add new features and you can get as much creative as you like. On your screen, you can see the website of Party Rock, which is partyrock.aws. And you can simply create your account right now for free and start playing with it or using it. I believe that this is a good step from Amazon or AWS because in playing around with this stuff, you learn a lot. It's fun, it's motivating, it's really active and exploratory, and also you don't have to spend anything. Party Rock primarily lets you learn by playing with generative AI, building something useful and fun for yourself and others along the way. The UI is quite simple. Let's walk through it. So I am at this website, partyrock.aws, and I'll drop the link in video's description. Once you are there, on the right-hand side, click on Sign In, and that will take you to the sign in screen so there you go you can either use your google account your apple account or your amazon account and then they will create an account for you let me go with my google account once i gave it my google account and then it takes me to this screen where you can select your username it's very new i'm sure you if you tried it now you should be able to select it so let me click on submit and then let's solve the puzzle it says place a dot at the end of the car path so let me do it and once i place that dot towards the end of that path it has taken me to this screen and now you can you are signed in and you can play around along with it now this is the front page of party rock you can review some sample apps or you can click build your own app so if you look at it if you scroll down there are a lot of apps which are already there which you can use and then you can even uh, use Amazon Bedrock Foundation model, but let's not go into that for now. Let's click on um, build or build your own app. We just click here, and then you can just write your own description, what you want to do. So I'll just say uh, generate a customized easy to follow response that tells the requester how to climb a k2 mountain in pakistan that's good so um you can go with any of the uh, prompt and stuff just click on generate app here and then it's just a matter of time before your app is ready let's wait and then i'll let it run so that you know how uh, fast it is and i'm just letting it run it's already a few seconds now aws or amazon says that it takes just a few seconds so let's see maybe it also depends upon the load they are having at the moment it's already been half a minute let's wait still running
Okay, it took around one minute and now you can see that uh, user experience is here, enter your, so I haven't given it anything else. It has generated this application. So what is your climbing experience level? I'll just say beginner. And you can see that it has already started working in the other panes here. So the route map it has given me what should be the route map. And there you go. So this is the route map, weather forecast, gear based. Um, what else would you like to know about? So I can chat with it. And then if I go just up above, it has given the generated advice. I, I'm not sure why this is giving an error. Too many requests. Okay, maybe I'll just be try here. Let's see what it does. Cool. So here is the full plan, which you normally see in other LLMs, which is very nice. And then at the top right, you can see that it is still private. You can make it public and share by the public link. You can snapshot it or remix it, which is being create a copy, or you could edit it and change the description. So if I go here, I'll just say, do I, what are, um, maybe do I need any permits? Yes. You don't have to even press enter here. Okay, so it doesn't have any permit information, but it has given me the Alpine Club thing here, which is nice, cool. So you can see that how easy it is, and I'm primarily I'm loving this route here, which I was not expecting. By the way, I didn't ask it, but it has uh, really given me this. You can download it. It seems amazing stuff, and you can even edit it if you like. So if you just edit it here, it is going to. Uh, give you all the information as per your edit. I'm just going to cancel it and it seems that in the language of this party raw, these things are called as widgets. So pretty cool. I would say really, really very impressed by it. Now you can um, use a lot of other things like you can select your own widgets and you don't have to uh, display all of the widgets. You can simply go by the widgets of your own choice. Also, as I mentioned, you can add more widgets here. So just if you click on add widget, you can um, add the widget here. For example, you just want text generation, image generation. Maybe I'll go with the image generation. So this is my image generation here. As you can see here, I'll just say my image. I'll just say maybe instead of user experience, it was Okay, maybe I will save it and I'll just say here. Bollywood hero light. Let's see what it does now. It is already working. Let's see if it is able to generate the image. Nope. Nothing here. I don't see any image here. If I scroll down, I don't see anything here. It is still going with that. Okay, so it is already um, with the previous one. So maybe I would need to delete it and then confirm and then add widget. And widget is here i'll just say image and then from here i can just uh, talk with it just click on save and then create widget and image generation it is editing it maybe i'll just say call still you can see bit patchy to too many requests so that is what is happening too many requests is happening i think a lot of people are use, people are using it that is why it is unable to generate that but anyway still a very good one you have to try a few more times to make it work if you want to exit this screen just click on this x and then you can click on my apps to access all of your apps so backstage is where all of your apps are and you can see your credit how many credits you have used for now it's all free but um, as per the notes, in the future, it might incur some of the cost.
So if you want to learn more, you can follow these tutorials, facts, building an app, get started. And then, as I mentioned earlier, there are some pre-built applications which you can access. So try it out. I'll drop the link to this in video description. Please share your experience with it. And what do you think? I would say pretty cool, but still uh, they could improve the user experience a bit in terms of widgets, in my opinion, but all in all, a good step from Amazon. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.